Hi, I'm by Breen Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stone Astrology where I give you my texture take on the world of astrology. Well, on June the 21st, the Sun moves into Cancer and it forms a conjunction with Venus and it also coincides with the Summer Solstice which takes place obviously on the 21st. And the Summer Solstice I touched on in the last episode but basically it's a celebration about the raising of consciousness of humanity. Now with these two planets in the sensitive water sign of Cancer, what you're finding is that it's a time where you want to be seen as somebody who's very loving and generous and supportive. And it's a time for giving and receiving love, particularly because we've got this Venus in this sensitive water sign. Which all sounds fair and well, however, what you might actually find if you're really looking beneath the surface is that you could be um, around people or situations that are really not beneficial for your life. And what you're doing is you're placating and you're always trying to maintain the status quo and you don't want to rock the boat. Now where we've got this Sun and Venus, it's an indication, it's a pull towards you really creating a sense of self-love and self-worth. And what tends to happen is that this gets projected onto other people and you leave it to them to identify what your value is. And so here, Sun, Venus wants you to really step into yourself and to value who you are. So given that they're in the sign of Cancer, and so we have the Great Mother, obviously, and um, here we have the signature or the mythology about the Magna Mater. And here, the, the mythology is, is that when she was born, she was left in the wilderness by her parents and um, she was raised by lions and panthers and turned into this very wise and beautiful and creative soul. And also what she went on to do was to create um, drums and musical instruments as well as magical medicine to heal young children as well as the animals. And so what this is an indication of is where we have our seeds of creativity. Because if you take the actual symbol of uh, cancer, it looks like the number nine or the number six turned on its side and doubled. Um, and what this really is, it's the seed, it's the male seed and it's the female seed in the cosmic womb. And so here, when we're really dealing with cancer, we're also looking at the seat of our creativity that's waiting for you to give birth to it. And so creativity can show itself in a variety of different ways. Obviously through birth, creating a beautiful baby. It could be business-wise, it could be artistically, it could be intuitively, it could be metaphysically, but it's waiting for you to show where those wonderful gifts are that you can give birth so that you're helping to grow yourself, but you're also touching other people. So this element of transformation and giving birth and, and being in a position where you're able to bring your divine child more to the surface. We've got this sense of, you know, we're here, we're in the, the realm of cancer, so it's about mothering and nurturing. And we all have our divine inner child that lies within and what can happen is that it gets suppressed or shunted or disassociated as we grow into adulthood at our various stages. But actually it's about how you're able to bring your inner child back into your reality of everyday life, but, but work with your inner child through your uh, sensibilities of the age that you are so that you're able to hold the two of them together. Alongside this movement into uh, the Cancerian realm, we have a significant aspect that's taking place again between Saturn, Square, Neptune. Here we have this sense of Neptune wanting you to transcend your barriers, transcend your boundaries and to have a universality to your world. And then we've got Saturn, which is about uh, the rigidity, the distinctiveness, the unique personality and identity that you've steadily worked towards building. So when we have this, um, the Neptune, Neptune is about washing away the barriers that Saturn has set up. And the reason why Saturn sets up these barriers is because Saturn reveals where we're weak, we're vulnerable, we're feeling insecure, and so therefore we build these protective barriers around these sensibilities. Now, it's a square, so it's an inner tension that you may be able to, um, that you'll be dealing with, and you're trying to transform this inner tension of 
wanting to transcend everyday realities, but at the same time trying to keep your feet grounded. So what you're seeking to do is to integrate these various sides of, of Saturn, as well as we've got Neptune, and Neptune, as I said, wants to cleanse us, wants us to bathe, and to wash away what it is that keeps us separate from other people. So Saturn is very proud about the distinctive identity, but actually the, the distinctive identity can leave us feeling a bit bereft because that's about being separate and unique. Whereas Neptune is trying to heighten our sensitivity, our spirituality, and for us to tap into our intuitive gifts. And if we allow the music to be played between these two planets, you really could create your own fantastic symphony. And so what you're seeking to do is to hear again, bring out those artistic abilities because it's where our gifts lie. And given that we're trying to transcend our everyday reality, it's about what can you use that is um, a latent and natural talent of yours. And so as much as we've got Neptune and Saturn in this square, and it's about revealing or uh, dissipating barriers, it's also about revealing our hidden gifts. And if we keep suppressing those gifts, there's a part of you that you're cutting off and that's not able to give and you're not able to give it the full consciousness that it needs and the world is waiting for you to show up. So Saturn, as I said, is the, the hard taskmaster and Neptune is about dissolving away and allowing you to expand your, ba your boundaries and, and widen the sort of collective experience that you could truly benefit from within your life. So that's it for this week. And the quote of the day comes from Peter Denove. And what he said is that happiness is not found externally. The awakened seek happiness from within. And so it's a time for you to tap into your creativity. The seed of your soul is waiting for you to give birth to it. It's also about not putting up with and not placating um, unacceptable behaviours in other people. It's about really connecting to your deeper sense of self-worth and self-love that's able to liberate you so that you're able to touch many people in this world. So, the question of the day is, what is it that you're going to give birth to that enables you to showcase your creativity? As always, put your answers in the comment box below. I always love to connect with you. Also, feel free to share this video with other people in your network. You can like and subscribe, and you can also add it to your own playlist. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I will put the details in the comment box below, and I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, have a wonderfully creative time.